everyone this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs and today we are going to do a revamp of my 100 envelope challenge if you are new to my channel welcome and if you are returning welcome back I am a cash budgeter and stuffer here on YouTube I am working on paying off debt and building up an emergency and sinking funds and if you didn't see my announcement I did reach the magical 1000 subscriber mark thank you everybody so much that was an awesome night it happened the other night I think it happened Wednesday night I was actually on the phone with my sister when the number turned and I like screamed in her ear and it was just the best night and the best moment it's all thanks to you guys so thank you so much for supporting me and I am in the process of working out the 1k giveaway. I just really want it to be special so I'm taking some time to think it through and figure out what I want it to be. I would like to post that video in the next week or so once I figure out. I just I didn't want to put up something like haphazardly. I really want it to be thought out. That's what I'm currently in the process of doing. It will definitely be up by the end of September, if not sometime next week. And yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just awesome. But let's get back to today. So I have, this is actually a video I'm making coming from quite a few comments that I've received on my videos. I've had quite a few people comment and say, why don't you just redo your envelopes and move your money to the bigger ones and then free up your little ones since I only have a little bit at a time. And at first I was kind of resistant to that because I felt like I had created this page and everything was good and I didn't want to mess it up. And then I had another person comment the same thing like today or yesterday. I was like, you know what? They're right. Why not just do that? I mean, it's not too much money, but even if I can get like some of these higher ones it would be nice to free up the little ones again so that is what we're going to do today I printed out a new sheet so I could start over you're going to take all this money out of the envelopes plus whatever is in the folder right now see what we have move it to some bigger ones and then free up the little ones for the 10% that I put in well, we are just going to jump right into it so before I start with the money, just want to fill this part out. So I had originally started this on November 24th, 2021. And my why at the time was for a better future. And I definitely still feel that way. And I have to say, guys, lately I'm just feeling great. I'm feeling hopeful. I'm feeling ready for the next phase of my life. I feel like I'm ready to live again. I'm ready to love again. I'm ready to just move on with life. So it's kind of fitting, I think, to redo this in a weird way to kind of mark that feeling that's been growing inside of me, especially the past like month or two. Okay, so we're going to just toss this aside. We don't need this. We have our new one. Our next step is we are going to unstuff all of this, see how much money we have, see how we're going to allocate it. I mean, see how we're gonna allocate it, <laughs> allocate it. So my first step is I'm just going to start unstuffing and I might just kind of speed through this with some music. So here you go. I am back. So here is all the money that I have unstuffed from my envelopes. Um, basically a lot of ones, fives, tens, and I think that's it. But now what we need to do is we need to organize this money, but this just kind of looks cool. It's definitely like a pile. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a pile. That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna organize and count. So here we go, and I will fast forward this part. All right, you guys, I'm just about finishing up. I have way more tens than I thought, which is kind of cool, but we have some good little piles going on. Because the money's been folded, it's kind of bending. Let's see if we can make it work. We have our ones, we have our fives, and then of course, there's a ton of ones, a little bit of five. We have our tens. Let's go ahead and see how much I had. And I did unstuff all the envelopes and also this one where I had started putting the 10% in. I figured I might as well throw it in. So we are ready to count. So it is actually decently thick. I'll show 
<laughs> it's pretty thick. It's thick enough that it's hard to hold in my hand, so I might have to separate it into piles. So far in our 100 envelope challenge, this is what we save. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we could stuff that 100 envelope, which I feel like will be the hardest for me. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. Okay, cool. So 200. And oh yeah, this is still kind of thick. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Okay. And then this is 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. Oh, so shy of 300. So we have a total of $291. Yeah, I definitely never would have made this by the end of the year. So 291. Now I just need to figure out what envelopes should we stuff as far as the bigger ones. I have a couple ideas. One is to stuff that $100 one because I know that one will be so hard for me. I guess my question is, is 1010 going to be too thick? Let's try it out and I'll keep track too. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I'm gonna grab that 100 envelope and see if this is too thick, I might pull the 100 bill from my emergency fund. I can just condense that again on a bill condensing. Now, if it's, all right, we have our 100 stuffed, which is a big deal, because that would have, like I said, would have been so hard for me to stuff. We'll go ahead and color in the 100. And when we minus that out, we are left with 191. I'm having two thoughts. I could just keep going down the 90s and stuff these until I run out. And then whatever's left over, I could throw in a little one, which I think I'll do because like these, the big ones are just going to be the hardest. So the next one is going to be 99. And I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Now this is a little bit more bills. We'll see if it'll fit in our 99 envelope. And yeah, it does fit. Okay, uh, it's a little tight. Let's see, yeah, that, that kind of works. Okay, it's super stuffed, but it does work. So now we have 99 done. I'm gonna go ahead and cross that one off. And let's see what is left in our pile. We now have $92. I could just throw the rest into the $92 envelope. I mean, I guess I'm kind of thinking, why not? This for sure I'll have to, this will not fit in one envelope. So I will have to condense. So we might get a little bonus condensing right now. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So I think I... I will do the 92 and let me pull this, whoa, that almost fell. But I'm gonna pull out my thousand, my emergency fund challenge because I believe I have some bigger bills. Yes, I have 100, but I won't need it. But the 50 will come in handy, so let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 
47, 48, 49, 50. So I'm going to take this 50 and I'm going to just swap that, move this to the emergency fund. I am going to need uh, some 20s, I think. So I think I did see a few 20s here. So let's see if we can condense a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 over here. I almost confused myself. And that's 70. We have 92. So I should be able to get another 20. Right? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, I should end up. If I did everything right, I should end up with one more 20 and then two ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and two ones. Woo! I did have a panic moment that I was gonna mess up, but it's good. So again, we're gonna swap this now. Our emergency fund is back to a whopping wad of ones, which is fine because that just means we get to do another bill condensing video, which seems to be a fan favorite like all across the board. And I can't even fit this money in here anymore. <laughs> Let me move this to the side real quick so I don't confuse the money. Um, yeah, wow. I might have to do a bill condensing this week, guys. This won't even fit. It actually won't fit. So I'm going to have to just put this back there like that for now and make sure we have our 92 for our last envelope 50 70 90 1 2 perfect that's super exciting okay actually i like this i was unsure like i said i i liked seeing all the envelopes stuffed but you know i it will be forever hard for me to get these big numbers and i i like this idea so for all of you that commented that i should do this i totally listen i took your advice and it feels good it feels feels fun all right we are going to put those back here we got some of the big ones knocked out we got to do 92. now we have a big mess here that we so bill condensing video is in the near future now we're down to three big ones we have a nice clean start and i'm looking forward to stuffing these again with the 10 percent so now I should be able to stuff some of these during the savings challenge videos since they're a little amount. But you guys, that is it. Thank you again for 1K subscribers. Thank you again for all your support, your likes, your comments, your suggestions for doing stuff like this. If there is other videos you'd like to see or other things that you think might be cool to watch, let me know. I'd be It'd be fun to film them. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday and I thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh,